Did you ever thought that there is more efficient way to manage the files? Yes, it exists before Windows came to masses. Hi, welcome to Install and Use channel. This channel contains tutorials how to install, configure and use software which we use on a daily basis. Useful links Core examples, scripts can be found on the description below and the channel repository on the GitHub. Like videos, share them with the friends and colleagues if you found them informative. And leave your comments below. This is the second video in the series about Farm Manager. In this video, we will learn about the selection and perform basic operations with the files. Usually I position panels in the logical way. On my left panel is the source panel and on my right is the destination panel. It is logical because the copy and moving progress bars show in the process progress from the left to the right. Such arrangement helps to remind myself from where to where the process is initiated. For some reason, to make it more convenient and swap the panels can be done with a Ctrl U United shortcut. I will demonstrate it now. Like so. Left become right and right become left. As a reminder from the previous video, Alt F1 and Alt F2 will initiate the change of the mounting point for the panel. Depending on the task you are performing, you may need to see extra attributes and parameters for every object in the directory, for directories or the files. I am demonstrating the functionality of Ctrl 1 to 0 keys. Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3, Ctrl 4. Ctrl 5, Ctrl 6, Ctrl 7, Ctrl 8, Ctrl 9, Ctrl 0. The default view is Ctrl 1, which represents the three column view. In my current task I'm performing, I need to know the size of the objects, so I will be using Ctrl 3 view. In this view, I see the size of each object present in the directory. For example, track number 3 is 12 megabytes. To select an object, we will use the insert key. Yes, that is very important key on the keyboard. And personally, this is one of the requirements for the laptop or the keyboard when it comes to the narrowing the choice of purchase. Now I'm pressing the insert key on the keyboard. After pressing the insert key, selected file changed its color to the yellow and cursor moved to the next file, lower file. We can select another object by pressing the insert key again. If you don't have the insert key on your keyboard, you can use shift up or down cursor keys, like so. If you want to know how to reassign the keys of your keyboard, link to the video on the screen and the in description below. When it's come to planning of the copying or moving the files, we need to count the size somehow. Firstly, we need to count the total amount of size of the source files. As we see from our current panel view, the sizes of the files, let's select several files. The total size of selected files will be shown in the lower side of the panel, in the yellow color. Three files are approximately 32 megabytes. To calculate the size of the directory, I need to focus on the directory I want to calculate and press F3 key. Size of the directory will appear in the size column to summarize the directories and the files in the current directory. I need to select 
the calculated directory as well. To do so, I will press the insert key. Updated size will be shown in the information bar below. Please notice that in the information bar selection contains three files and one directory, and the total size is 603 megabytes. As we came to selecting objects, let's go through terminology used in the videos, like focused, selected, active, inactive. In the interface of the farm manager, we see two panels, panel on the left and panel on the right. Current panel, active panel, or focused panel is panel on the left. We can see it from the path highlighted on the top of the panel. The opposite panel's title is not highlighted. It is not focused. It is inactive. To change the focus of the panel, we use Tab key. Focused file or current file is the file under the cursor and is highlighted with a rectangle and which can be moved with the cursor keys. Selected objects are the objects uh, which are selected. We can distinguish them with the yellow color. For example, I will select the other folder and two files 3 and 4. These objects are selected. Please notice that the current file, track number 5, is the current file and it is not a selected object. Before we move forward to the pattern selection, I would like to talk about the advantages of full-size keyboard. And one advantage is, of course, numpad. Numpad has extra keys, which means direct access to the symbols, which save more time, which increase efficiency. Taking into consideration that numpad has two layers, which can be changed with an unlock key. There are a lot of use cases, such as broadcasting, video editing, graphics, and tons of more. Primarily, of course, it was invented to enter numbers. Side note to the numpad keys. Generally, on different keyboard layouts, these keys represent same symbols. It means, if you're using more than one layout, you do not need specially remember positions of numpad symbol keys. Plus and minus keys on the numpad are the same in Europe and Americas. Let's go to our primer task and prepare our environment. To the left side, we will position the source, as the source will be the USB drive which I use to listen in the car. Alt F1 to select the USB, USB flash disk, which is Mux car, will select by enter. My task is to copy Cech2 directory and all MP3 files. Firstly, I need to calculate the size of the directory I want to copy. I will focus at the directory I want to copy and press F3 key to calculate the size. I will select it by pressing insert key. I will add to my selection all mp3 files by pressing plus on my numpad. As a pattern to select, I will provide asterisk.mp3 to select all mp3 extension files and press enter. I can conclude that total size of my selection is 145 megabytes, which includes 6 files and 1 directory. Next I will set my destination environment. I will move to another panel using the tab key and I will check the free space available by pressing Ctrl L keys, which will initiate the information panel. As you can see, free space is 236 gigabytes, which will easily fit the source. To close information panel, I will press Ctrl L again. To initiate the copy dialog, I will move back to the My Source and press F5 key to copy. I will confirm pressing Enter key. Let's quickly copy the same objects to initiate post-action decision-making dialog. Select Cech2 and several MP3 files, F5, Enter. At this point, Fire Manager will ask what to do to each file. We can overwrite, we can skip, we can rename, and we can remember the choice for the rest. 
Let's go and copy media from the digital camera flash memory card. Alt F1 to initiate the switch of the left panel. Choosing the memory card. As we can see, this directory contains Canon RAW files and videos. I want them to put to the different directories in my destination. So let's prepare the destination. Switch panel. Navigate into the photos directory. Switching to the source back. Initiating the part selection dialog by pressing the plus key on the numpad. Defining the pattern using the extension asterisk.cr3. Enter. All the CR3 files are selected. I am initiating the moving dialog by pressing F6 key and confirming by Enter key. I want to move my videos into the videos destination directory. Let's go back to the destination and prepare. I will navigate to the videos directory and go back to the source. In this example, I will select the files using the file name. As we can see that the video files file names contain MVI letters. I will initiate pattern selection dialog by pressing plus key. But now I will specify the pattern using the file name. In my case, I will type MVI asterisk enter and the video files which contains MVI in the file name will be selected. To accomplish the task, I will press F6 key and confirm the move action. To deselect the files, I will use the minus key from the numpad. It is also possible to specify the pattern for the deselection. In my case, I may use .mp3 that will deselect all mp3s. Then I can select the files which contain NO in the full name of the files. And then I would like to deselect all files which contains ACK in the full name. Like so. Let's select all the video files. To do so, I will press the plus key from the numpad, specify the pattern .mp4 and press enter key. There is some cases that uh, inversion of the selection should be done. To do so, I will press the asterisk or multiply key from the numpad. As we can see that all selected objects become deselected and all non-selected objects become selected. Let's deselect everything. To do so, I will press the minus key from the numpad and enter asterisk as a pattern and press enter. As a default action for the asterisk or multiply key on the numpad is to invert the selection. The equivalent to invert all non-selected to the object will select everything. So by Pressing the multiply key on the numpad will select everything in the directory. And to deselect everything, pressing the asterisk or multiply key again will deselect everything. This is very handy to use. Some extra tips on the selection. When using the selection dialog and you start to type some pattern, the selection dialog actually has a history and you might pick up the pattern that you has been used already. Let's initiate this selection dialog again by pressing minus key on the keypad. As I mentioned that this dialog has a history, we can use control down cursor key to observe it. And we can scroll it up and down and confirm which we need. Another tip is when selecting you might want just to adjust one or two symbols in the pattern. By typing something on the top will overwrite the pattern. So what we need to do is to press left or right keys. Then the pattern become editable. 
Mentioned shortcuts are available on the channel repository on GitHub, and all shortcuts can be found in the official documentation, which is available offline, behind the F1 key in the keyboard reference section. In this video we learned how to select, deselect and invert the files. Also we performed simple file operations such as copying and moving the files. We learned how to count size of the directories and the files. In the next video we will go through the menu of the file manager and look through the basic settings to adjust. You can say hi by sending me a letter. Also subscribe to the newsletter. Subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends, colleagues if you find them informative. See you in the next one! Hit the like button!